This is an arrival of my new print. Um, I've decided to call it Standing Tall. Um, And they're from the original painting. From the original painting. And this is just a detail of the original painting. So it's a, an original image. And um, I think with a lot of my work, I tend to, at the moment, tends to have quite a lot of detail. And I just felt by, you could sort of, blow up it's almost a little bit like a, uh, a lens sort of going in and going out so it's like sort of like looking in and then looking out so it plays quite well with the idea that I've taken an aspect of the image and then made it something else I quite I like the idea of taking something and then making it something else a lot of aspects of my um, work has an, an area that tends to be almost a little bit blank, a little bit plainer. And the idea for me is that bringing that contemplation, you know, it has that area of, you know, um, well, a little bit like mindfulness. So this the viewer can bring and contemplate and bring something to it. I see the prints as very different than the originals. Um, the process is very different. It's, you know, completely a different process whatsoever. So, I'm in the process of just going to sign this. So I'm always a little bit, a little bit scary because you want to make sure that once you've done it, it's um, it's indelible. And just also to to add to what I was saying, it's the first time I decided to print on on aluminium, which is a metal. Um, and the reason being is these these are um, flowers in a in a greenhouse and I like the idea of having the sort of the reflective quality of glass um, and it was a bit of an experiment I mean it's, it's been in the process of nine months to get to this stage so it's a very exciting moment to be launching um, and I wanted really because it's it starts off with a sort of digital images image and then lots of screen prints and the start the start of it um, when I first arrived, it was very heavy on the uh, metal and I needed to bring the lighting. As I often do, I'm bringing the lighting. I start from dark to light with my work. So you're constantly trying to bring the light in. So it was also being true to the materials. It's really important to me to be, you know, um, authentic to the materials that you're working on. So to have the sort of aluminium shining through layers of screen print um, was really quite important to then sort of blend it all together. So just about to sign and of course because it's aluminium I can't sign it like my um, like I normally do on paper so I have to, I have to carve which is again going back to how I create some of my originals which is interesting. So the first bit is quite easy so I'm signing with a often <laughs> I'm, I, I, I sort of just slightly measure it first I'm sort of trying to find out the, the center of it just so I can roughly get the middle of that there to know what I'm going to write so, and then sort of have to get an idea of You'll still see here as well, there's a there's my maker's mark as well in the corner. So that gives it all its authenticity. So now what I want to of course this is such a new process for me, so it's a little bit sort of a new process of trying to sign on to metal. So I've had to give this a lot of thought. Um, and so I've just got a pen and it's it's this pen is actually uh a marker pen but it's got a bit of metal at the end of it I think it's come to the end of its life 
and what it's really doing a little bit is scoring into that surface and hopefully when I get my tool on it what I'm hoping for I think I might have to put my glasses on um, what I'm really hoping for is that it will just I've scored it so it's got a guideline really um, to me following those lines so you can't probably quite see what I'm doing here at the moment but I'm hoping it won't allow me to slip when I use the tool on it so a bit of a steady hand with this Extras there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go 